Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share this story with you. Um, it is changing my life and I hope that it changed your life as well. So the title of this video was a tad bit clickbaitish, but there's a lot of truth. So please stick around and listen. So my family did pay off their home in cash it just wasn't Jason and I. However, I am gonna share the story with you. Why? Because I want to motivate you. One of the purposes of my channel is to also share our journey of us really trying to become debt free. Now, lucky for us, we have someone in front of us in our family that we are able to look to for inspiration because they have actually done it. And yet I want to bring other people on this journey. You know, whether it is uh, ways to save for college in which we're going to be telling you guys uh, those things that we're doing for each of our children or um, making sure that your family is protected. Uh, God forbid, in the case of one of you or your spouse uh, passing away or getting sick or disabled, um, there's a lot of things that, you know, just woke us up during this COVID season that Jason and I are really doing things differently from here on out. Once again, hence new normal with CJ. And we're going to share a lot of those things with you so that it can cut out the learning curve um, so that you know where to search and hopefully can arrive at what's best for you and your family in a lot shorter time. So about three weeks ago now, my cousin frantically called us, my sister cousin, I should say, she frantically called us and said, hey, listen, you have to come down and visit me. You know, we just moved into a brand new house and we have some really exciting news to share with you guys. Now, she knew she wasn't going to get us to come down just because she moved in a new house, although we really were elated for her. However, so she made us believe that it wasn't just about coming down for a housewarming, right? And because we are sister friends, I know a lot of the goals and the things that, you know, she has on her heart for herself, her family, and so forth. And I knew one of those things is that she uh, would love to continue to increase the size of her family. So I was immediately like, oh my God, Libby, you're pregnant. <laughs> and that was not the truth. So we ended up driving to where she lives, which was a good four hours from where we are. At, but we made a weekend of it. But anyway, here we are in her neighborhood. Isn't it beautiful? All right, guys. So we are here. We are at my family's home. I'm not going to tell you where. She might not want me revealing that. But um, we're in another state and we're here to support her. Um, I have a feeling that this is not just a housewoman. I think she's going to be sharing something else. So we shall see. We ended up going down there thinking that she was pregnant and that, you know, not only were we celebrating the fact that they moved into a new house, but she also had a baby. Well, that I was totally wrong. Everything was absolutely beautiful. She did ask us to come dress in white and or denim. So that's kind of why you see everybody color coordinated. Everything just popped. It looks so beautiful. Oh my God, I am still amazed at what she did, how she turned this into something that felt like a million bucks. But when I tell you she is like financially savvy so all of that did not cost as much as what it looks like but the food was delicious um there was even a place for the kids omg they were able to have fun and then everybody that was there also was able to kind of take a picture and so forth with the professional photographer so i really really enjoyed that as well Okay, so first of all, we want to thank you guys so much for coming today. It means so much to us that our family oh and closest friends. I know a lot of people have to start. Um, this is just for those who are closest to us. So if you're here, that means that you have a special place to come. So thank you so much for coming. We thank our family that drove 18 hours here. Can we give it up for the New York team? Can we give it up? 
it up for our hostess, Miss Joyelle, who drove. It didn't take her 18 hours to get here. She didn't hit the accident. But um, can we give it up for her as well? Can we give it up for T Georgia? Where, where are the ATL folks at? Where are the ATL? Can we give it up for the Greenville family? Okay, can we get up before a meal? <laughs> okay, no, seriously. Okay. We gotta, we're gonna hurry because I know you kids are hungry and I'm hungry and these people ain't fed me all day and I'm gonna be hangry in a minute. But um, most of you guys think that you guys came here for our house blessing and my brother is going to bless the house. Um, where is he? Rashawn? Yes. You gotta come pray? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Can we give it up for my brother? <laughs> he looked away, y'all. He looked away, y'all. All right, well, good afternoon, everyone. All right, we're going to go ahead and bow our heads. Let everyone say, Amen. 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 All right, so does every couple have a green envelope? We do. Okay, so I want you guys to open your envelope. Most of you guys think you came here today just for the blessing, and we're here for the blessing. We're here for the blessing. But the blessings of the Lord oh, wow. added no sorrow. And this is really a mortgage burning party. Woo! So much to my surprise, we were there for the actual mortgage burning. Okay, for all the young people who are wondering what mortgage burning means, that means that we are only going to pay taxes to stay in this house and utilities if Norm don't want to freeze us to death. And so our goal is to, the reason why we only invited those who are closest to us is because we want to end Inspire you guys. We are not special. God does not love us any more than He loves you all. And if He did it for us, He'll do it for you guys too. And then, wait, say that part one more time. If He did it for us, He'll do it for you. Yeah. 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 If He did it before, if He did it before, can't do it again. He'll do it again. Woo! So we want to thank you guys so much, and we can all head over to the fire pit and actually burn the mortgage. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Now, I knew that she had had a lot of this house paid for or the strategy or the money for the strategy that she was going for. She had a lot of it, but I did not realize that they somehow pulled it all together and was able to pay off this house. Oh my, like... You know, I don't want to sound braggadocious. I wish I could tell you how much the house cost because it was a pretty penny. And I mean, it wasn't millions, but it was pretty pennies. So, I mean, it just goes once again to just how amazing God is, one. And then how she really set her sights on something. And then she was willing to do what needed to be done in order for them to meet this goal. But like she said, this is not something or something special to her. Like we all can achieve this. And I believe that not only for myself, but I believe that for you too. And so that's why I wanted to share her story with you so that you can come along on the journey. She is sharing um, how she did this. Matter of fact, this is not something new to her. She wrote a book years ago called Debt Free at 33. And at that time, she and her husband had all of their student loans paid off and all they had was their home at that time in New York. Well, fast forward, they ended up moving um, and a lot of things happened in between there. And then eventually they arrived at the point where um, she was able or they were able to pay for this house debt free. And so I want to share with you that they have a Facebook group called Debt Free at 33. I am going to put that link below because I want you to take this journey with me. She's going to be showing us lots of different strategies. She's going to be giving us, um, I don't want to say financial advice, 
but she's going to be sharing her story and we can glean from that story. Um, there's a lot of other things that she does too, to personally help people as well as, um, organizations, um, with financial literacy. So this is one of the first resources that I want to share with you um, as I do these motivational financial literacy videos um, is to go follow her on Facebook, Debt Free at 33, okay? So I am gonna, I'm already a member. So hopefully I will see you there too.